Well, the Yiddish, the Yiddish of our of the world I grew up in is, uh, is, is, is not going to exist anymore. It will only exist, I believe, as a subject of study in, in, uh, among academics and people like you. And, uh, but uh, there are a few people writing Yiddish still. There are, there are even some Yiddish uh, uh, journals and newspapers. It's still around. But it's clearly on the demise, and uh, to think otherwise is to, I think, to delude, delude oneself. So our Yiddish, it seems to me, it doesn't have a future. Sad to say, does not have a future. I don't think so. In Israel, they're studying it. But again, I mean, it's not their... Uh, as we say in Yiddish, tog teglach esprach, they don't use it uh, on a you know, day-to-day -day conversational way. Do you get to use it? No, the only time I got to use it was when I gave those talks at the Yiddish Culture Club. And I've lost a lot of fluency. I mean, I seem fluent when I give those talks at the Yiddish Culture Club, but that's because I've written it out beforehand. If I try to speak extemporaneously, I am often have to pause till the word I want comes to the surface. Uh, whereas if I'm writing it, you know, it doesn't matter. I can, what's that word, you know, and then it comes. So, um, so I, I've lost fluency. I have no one to talk to. I used to talk to my mother. I uh, so. Uh, yeah, that's the sad truth, I think. But then we have the National Yiddish Book Center, we have um, uh, Aaron Lansky, we have wonderful people like you, and uh, so there's that, there is a future in that. And, uh, but you know, compared to what, you know, masses, millions of Yiddish speakers, there were millions of Yiddish speakers. Weinreich counts in one source that I read 11, 11 million, 11 or 12 million Yiddish speakers. And tons of periodicals and newspapers. It's all gone. There were in New York when I was a kid four Yiddish daily newspapers. The Fovet, Social Democratic. The Freiheit, the communist one. The Morgen Journal which was uh, sort of religious, more or less, and the Tug, which was a sort of a liberal one. Four Yiddish daily newspapers. It's all gone.